The three things I learned by making 20 million by the age of 24. When I was in my early teens, if someone came to me and told me that I would be a millionaire in less than 10 years, I would have definitely believed him. Would you? I became a millionaire in my early 20s and honestly, this journey was full of learning lessons and gaining new experiences. So if you want to know the three most important things that I learned making 20 million by 24, make sure you watch this video till the end. Honestly, earning 8 figures at a very young age is not exactly a piece of cake. It takes a lot of hard work and hard work isn't the only thing. You need to have a clear goal and then you have to model your life according to these goals. You can't accept to live a life with an average routine and achieve exceptional goals. The common things that average people who live on mediocre income do are not the things you should be doing if you want to become an eight figures earner. The journey towards wealth is not smooth. It's actually pretty bumpy and I had my ups and downs. So with my experience, I have learned that there are certain lessons you should always keep in mind if you want to become successful. I wish I had someone like me to help me at the beginning. It would have avoided me a lot of mistakes and I would probably have reached my goal way faster. But that's life. This is why I'm here to share with you all the lessons I wish I had learned earlier on my journey towards becoming a millionaire. I have a lot of insights to share with you. So let's get started. The first thing that I learned at a very young age in my journey towards becoming a millionaire was sacrifice. People think life is easy, but no. If you want to achieve goals that are different from the things people normally want, then you will have to sacrifice a lot of things that are considered normal or cool for people of your age. And this includes all sorts of sacrifice. When you're young, you're obviously expected to do activities that people your age are doing, like hanging out with your friends, partying, watching all the Netflix shows. This is a basic social expectation. But you should always remind yourself that such futile things are temporary and superficial. They have no contribution towards your success. So you have to know that since your aim is different, your journey has to be different too. You can't complain to have a normal life when you're behaving like Mr. and Mrs. Everyone. You cannot waste your valuable time on things that may look cool for other young kids. As I mentioned above, to become successful in life, you need to sacrifice. And here it comes with the cost of your social life. If you want to become an eight figures earner, then you have to act like a millionaire, even when you're young. Most people are scared of how the others are seeing them. Oh no, I'm scared. He's going to think I'm arrogant because I want to work on my businesses. People might laugh at you. For example, when I started investing everyone was telling me Suzy you think you're gonna be the next Warren Buffett and if I would have listened to them I wouldn't be here in case you can't go through this barrier you're gonna be limited my friend learn how to do some sacrifice learn how to block the vision of the others on you when I was in the journey of becoming a millionaire my friends hardly ever got to see me like a no one really I'm serious even my closer friend rarely saw me but if they're real friends they should understand it another sacrifice that I had to do is the romantic relationship like I didn't have the time to run after girls. I had no time to take them out on dates. I literally always had to put work first. Even when I was in my teens, if I had any spare time, I would spend it on reading, meditating, on things that would improve me mentally, physically, even things like going to the gym. I learned if you want to become a millionaire at the age of 24, you have to sacrifice your social life as well as your dating life. Basically, your 20s is for sacrifice if you want to become a millionaire. If you build up the discipline and courage to sacrifice your 20s, then it sets the tone for the rest of your life. Do you know any man who became a millionaire while he was running after women? No. Do you know any millionaire who is now running after women after he made it? Plenty, yes. People don't realize, but all the time you spend talking on the phone, texting, could be invested in your business. All the money you spend wasting on a date could have been invested in your company. That may be sad, but that's just true. The second lesson I learned was the importance of investment. You need to invest as soon as you can. It's not like you're going to smart making big profit as soon as you start investing, but it's still important for you. So you can get into the habit of investing and you can learn how it works. I've been investing for the last seven years now. It's not like you have to be an entrepreneur since your teens. But even if you work for someone else, like if you have a job from which you earn enough to save, then you have to invest. This is the smarter things to do. For this, you need to have a clarity about your needs and wants, so you can set aside what you need to save. But remember, this saving should instantly turn into investments. Because those who suffer from economic crisis are savers or those who rely on earned income or monthly income. So remember, 
Saving should not be an end. They should be a means to an end. The end in question is investment. There are several ways to invest your money. You can go for cryptocurrency, real estate, collectible, anything. The price of assets usually goes up. Stuff like this get expensive as time passes. So the earlier you begin investing, the better it's for you and the more you can make. The definition of wealth for a millionaire or anyone aspiring to become one is not how much money you have in the bank, but how much you have in investment. How much of your money is working for you? How much money is invested in fighting inflation to make you richer? The third thing I learned was the importance of having a cash flow business. Yes, trust me, this is extremely important. Since a very young age, I have had a cash flow business and I can tell you how important this is to have. First, having a cash business is going to help you with your investment portfolio that I mentioned above. It doesn't matter what business model you go for. It can be an agency, it can be an Instagram business, it can be anything. You don't need to spend thousands of dollars to start it. You just need to build your investment portfolio from a very young age so you need a cash flow business to start. These three things are the most important lesson I have learned. I'm so lucky and grateful for every experience and lesson I have gained and that I'm able to share with you guys. If you're just like me and you want to become a millionaire in your early 20s, then keep these lessons in your mind. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like it and hit the subscribe button in case you don't want to miss any of my other videos.